Today we are going to discuss about kidney and the role of enhanced external counterpulsation EECP in kidney function. Kidney is one of the important organ in our body. The main function of kidney is a waste disposal system. Our body uh, because of active metabolism produce lot of toxic substance which are the end product of this metabolism. This toxic substance has to be eliminated from our body. The kidney plays a major role in eliminating this toxic substance through urine. Kidney also control your blood pressure uh, by stimulating dilation or constriction of your blood vessel. It also plays a major role in managing your fluid balance as well as electrolyte balance. Kidney act as a very important uh, organ to stimulate the red blood cells in your body. Through a hormone called erythropoietin, kidney plays a major role by increasing the number of RBCs in your cell when there is a requirement. So put together, kidney is one of the important organs. So what are things we have to do to prevent getting into renal failure? Healthy lifestyle. I mean, food, healthy food with a high amount of vegetable and fruit will helpful in preventing kidney function. And then exercise. Keep yourself fit. Regular exercise. Quit smoking. Reduce salt intake. Control your blood pressure and control your diabetes. And uh, very important is medications. Don't take any unprescribed medications or antibiotics and painkiller, which are causes of a major cause for renal failure. So how EECP helps in uh, preserving your kidney function. So what enhanced external counterpulsation does is it applies the cuffs in your lower limb and it is gated with your heart pulse rate or your heart heartbeat. So exactly during the diastolic phase the cuff inflate pushing more blood into the reverse direction. So practically your kidney get dual blood supply. One is because of the heart contraction, second is because of the cuff contraction. So this increase the blood flow to the pelvic area. So kidney, uh, in fact, are able to increase the blood flow by 21%. It's very significant. And because of this increased blood flow, the kidney filtration rate also improves. So it helps the kidney to filter the toxic product in your body effectively. So this filtration effect of kidney is measured by what we call as GFR, glomerular filtration rate. So by increasing the blood flow, EECP also helps to improve the glomerulation, glomerular filtration rate around 20%. Uh, in our body, kidney is the most resilient organ. The reason is, if you say the GFR is 90 is normal, even when the GFR comes up to 30, still your kidney can function normal by eliminating the toxic substance and managing all the fluid and electrolyte balance in your body. Only when the GFR goes less than 15%, we call it as a renal failure. So there is an enormous gap between normal and failure. So nature has given the kidney enough, act, enough uh, strength to preserve its activity even though the filtration rate is going down. So what is the main idea of EECP is to prevent the kidney going for a failure or uh, improve the blood flow to the kidney. In some instance, as a prevention, uh, patient who have early sign of kidney disease started leaking protein in the urine, which is called proteinuria or uh, microalbinuria. So in this condition, if you start taking EECP, it can reverse the blood flow. In fact, it can increase the blood flow and reverse your GFR. That's why studies have shown even in advanced kidney disease, in an advanced heart patient, it can able to uh, reverse the GFR about 20%. So in the early stage, definitely it might have a much higher impact in people to prevent kidney disease. In fact, kidney also uh, control your blood pressure by reducing renin, uh, which is important vasoconstrictor along with endothelin. So all these things put together, when you do EECP, EECP indirectly help the kidney function to improve by controlling the diabetes and hypertension, which we have discussed this in the previous video. And directly it improves the renal function by increasing the renal blood flow and improving the GFR rate. So doing EECP on the earlier stage of diabetes and hypertension would help, help you to prevent getting into renal failure in the future.